especially those mature exchanges need to have a fully license so they need to be fully regulated and I think this is something that ITBIT and Kraken for example are doing very very well they have very good license standards they also have investments behind them so it, ITBIT has been receiving 25 million investments and Kraken already has 5 million investments and I think this is something that furthermore gives the users or the traders of an exchange trust and the more trust you have as an exchange the better it is furthermore we do also do have some functionalities which are now very interesting in the maturity phase which I think the most important would be margin trading so given the case that you want to lend some money from other users and you want to go along on a higher leverage there are some exchanges that are offering this functionality for example Kraken is offering 2.5 2. Point, so up to a leverage of 5 I think they're offering the users to trade on Ethereum for example or other altcoins um, we do have 796.com which is a very specific Chinese site I would say they are offering leverage trading up to 50 times and also we do have bitmex.com which might give you even 100 times the ledger for your trades so um, but I think it's only very on very specific markets that they are offering you to trade on 100 times leverage so once you have the maturity files behind you it's it's sort of hard for you to find any more fields where you can get better and better so um, the next logical conclusion would be to make a specialization to specialize on something that you can really really you can do really really well um, for example I think the one is the legal team in our case this means that the white label provider is focusing on the technological aspect on, on the flexibility of the exchange software and also will do the technical maintenance while the exchange operators are then fully aware of the legal compliance that is necessary to operate the exchange will do the marketing to drive the traders onto the platform and to get some networking effect going and also you know to make the standard marketing and try to, to build a good brand for the exchange the next step which I think is currently being observed on the market is that um, you can decentralize exchanges then again um, not necessarily with the approach that you are going to make some spreadsheet online which is giving a trust overview of, of the trading parties but I think that Coinfini and Bits interesting approaches um, basically they are trying to operate decentralized exchanges which works like the following you download the trading software on your PC it's not being done on some web page but it's done locally on your PC then you're going to make a small deposit on your user account you try to find a trading partner which is done via standard order matching I would say and then the trade is being settled in small portions and given the case that one user is trying to interrupt the trade a small portion of the trade his deposit will be taken away and um, everything at the end of the day is settled via blockchain and this is going to to make um, some some pros and cons in overall for example two minutes two minutes please okay um, so in general when you have no central point of failure it's very good um, because as Bitfinex or empty Cox has been shown attack that can be used um, user funds might be stolen very quickly on the other hand <coughs> you have settlements over blockchain so every trade that you do is going to be confirmed by the network you can't do any high-speed trading also I, as far as I know there is no leverage trading to be done because that would also then um, imply special problems um, yeah the outlook is the block the second block halving has been appearing so I think we can um, assume a, a increased price for Bitcoin increased trading volume things are going to get pretty interesting we do have currently about 250 to 300 exchanges and I think it's going to be even more because we need very specific exchanges that are going to meet the local local um, regulation and also um, the local 
integrations that are necessary. For example, the South American exchanges are very, um, it's very important for South American exchanges to be uh, enabling the customer a very smooth trading experience so the fiat money is going out and going in very quickly. Um, furthermore, every country will have numerous crypto exchanges, I would say. We will see a lot of hybrids with special and different functionalities. We will have a best of breed which is going on and we will also have bigger exchanges buying smaller ones as we can already see with Tracken. I think Tracken has been acquiring two or three exchanges already. And at the end of the day, the, the customer will take the exchange with the highest security, with the highest trust and also with the lowest trading fee because trading fee is something that allows you to com compare between different exchanges. And of course, functionality is also something that's very important for exchanges. Okay, that was what's about it. Um, if you have any, any, you can ask right away if you like. No questions?